Good morning, you guys. Man, it is a freezing cold day today here at the range, but luckily that means we have it all to ourselves. So today we're going to be testing out the new PT, well not new, but new to me, PTR9CT. This is an MP5 clone, as you can see. They did a very good job at making this. So, I did bring a few different types of ammo out. I brought cellar in a lot. 124 grain. I have some Rezair. 115, some Federal Black Box 115, and some Remington UMC 115 grain. So, we're going to go ahead. We're going to load up these ETS mags and go ahead and break her on in. So, I'll go ahead and catch you guys as soon as these mags are loaded. Alright, so we're just about finished loading the second mag, but I figured I'd let you guys know I am starting out with the cellar and bullet. 124 grain, it does say to break it in with some 124. It's a bummer, that's the only thing I could find. Everything else I have today is 115, but... Hopefully that doesn't make too big of a difference. I have 100 rounds of the 124, so it says I think about two to 300 for the break-in period. We are on the short distance range. I think it's to 25, 25 feet. Yeah, 25 feet. So I just have targets up at the... I think I got an extra round in there on accident. All right, now we're just shooting pretty much at the 10 foot target. So, all right, you guys ready? I know I am. Man, I've wanted to do this since I was a little kid. So, safety's on. Let's do it. All right. All right, see what happened. Didn't scoop a roundup, so we'll go ahead. So, ETS mag so far, we'll pop that round out, go ahead, flip this back up on safe, and we'll give it a try, maybe I had too many rounds in this one. Man, there goes another one. Alright, well, hopefully the rest of the range trip doesn't man can't even get it to scoop one up so give me a minute I'm gonna download these a little bit and see if it helps for any reason all right so I figured out what happened apparently at some point a round had been scooped up and I went to inspect the chamber and there was a round there, so I took the mag out, I did close the chamber, and it fired. I wish I would have been able to catch that on camera, but we're going to go ahead. Hopefully it scooped one up right there, and let's give this thing a try. so weird all right just failure to pick up I think that was the last one yep all right 
Now this is a full mag, so let's go ahead. There we go. Now that's weird. Okay. I'm going to try and show you guys this as safe as possible. Keep me down range. Put it on safe. All right. <clears throat> so, we charged it. I'm going to try and get you guys the best of you as I can. I mean, that's about all I can do. There is a round in there. But one, it didn't fire. And two, it didn't extract. So... This is what happened last time. I'm gonna go ahead and close it. We'll go on fire. And that's exactly what happened with the last mag that I said I couldn't catch on camera. So we'll go ahead and go on save. All right. Hopefully we got one there. Man, besides that, she's running fine. No failures to eject or anything like that. So, like I said, it is really cold out this morning, and we are breaking this in. So, all right, let's check the round casings out. It does look like they're fluted, which is nice. So, all right. So we'll go ahead. Yeah, man, as far well, I'll talk to you guys for a little bit while I load these up. Now, the recoil impulse is extremely smooth. I can tell everyone says that it's one of the best sub guns in the world. There's minimal, minimal recoil, which is extremely nice. So overall so far so so good i'm just kind of curious whether it might be the bolt that's not picking up the round or if it's these ets mags i was like a little bummed that i got these i know that they're overall pretty good mags and people tend to like them but i know i was like a little bummed out because i wanted the true black ones but i'll just have to pick some up I hope everyone's excited for the holidays. I know this was my big Christmas gift to myself for the year. I wanted an MP5 since I was like a little kid. It was absolutely always my favorite gun in the movies and everything. So I could not be happier to have one. Alright. Now, we are just at the very end of the cellar in the lot, or however you pronounce it. So, as soon as we finish with this, I'm gonna go ahead and try some of the Remington US, or UMC, or whatever it's called. And we'll see how the 115 grain goes. Hopefully we don't have any, any issues with the lower grain ammunition. So, all right. So here we go, full mag again, go ahead, slap it like it owes you money, and Nice. No issues. Ran the whole mag, no problem. That's awesome. That's what we want to see. Hmm. 
All right. Cool, man. This thing is running awesome so far. So let's keep our high hopes up. I do apologize for any gunfire you might hear in the background. It seems like some other people had the same idea as me and decided to go to the range today because it is, it's a beautiful day out. The sun's out, it's not too cloudy. There's a light coating of snow on the ground. Overall, not bad. So, all right, up next is the US, or UMC. This was what we were running before, out of the last mags. Alright, go ahead and check it out, see how this ammo does. Oh man, God, it's such an awesome experience to be able to finally be able to shoot one of these. It's been on my bucket list for a long time. And hey, I could watch Die Hard completely happy now with my MMP MP5 in my lap and enjoy Christmas with the family like it's meant to be force them all to watch movies they don't want to watch while I scream like a lunatic LARPing around the house so again I hope everyone has an awesome holiday Christmas New Year's all that stuff. I know I'm, I'm excited for all my kids to get their gifts and stuff. So, as far as loading these mags go, it's 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 pretty easy. It's just pop them in. All right. We'll go ahead and crack the other box of UMC so we could get two full mags out of this. And then after that, we're probably going to give this Federal Black Box a try. I honestly have never shot that ammo. But as far as I know, it's pretty good. I know everyone had good Black Friday deals going on with it. And same thing as far as like Christmas. I, th I think it's still on sale. Maybe it's not. Maybe it was just the Black Friday thing. So... Now, I don't know if any of you noticed, I'm sure you all did, but in good fashion, I had to wear my Flectarn jacket, because who doesn't want to wear German camo and shoot an MP5? Sounds like the best day ever to me, which I am having, so... Oh man, it is cold out. I was gonna wear gloves, but I'm not much of a glove person. So, all right, two mags full of the Remington UMC. So, all right, are you guys ready? I know I'm ready. Let's do it. Oh man, there we go again. Did it pick one up? Yep. At least it picked one up. So we'll go ahead and we'll leave that out. Like I said, maybe these mags just have to be downloaded. I know the spring starts looking really weird in them when they're, it's pushing down. So, all right, let's see if it got one. Alright, so besides that one hiccup, nice, it ran. Let's go ahead, try this one. Maybe I'm putting one one more round in there than that's supposed to be because I did fit an extra round in that one mag. 
So, who knows though. But it is running good so far. It is starting to get a little warm, but it's so cold outside that it's keeping it cool, which is nice because I could keep shooting. So, alright. Yippee ki yay, motherfucker. Man, it's weird. I could, like, definitely notice that it's starting to break in. It seems like it's almost getting a little smoother, like, like the recoil impulse is mellowing out almost, like everything's starting to finally work itself in and smooth out, which is nice. It's an extremely comfortable pistol. This brace, SB Tactical, I mean, you can't go wrong with them. I'd love to honestly get one of the collapsible MP5 braces at some point. Just to be able to switch them out occasionally. I know I was looking into a Surefire handguard for it, but Jesus Christ. Those things are like five, six hundred dollars That shit's insane. I don't have that type of money to spend. I could buy a whole nother gun for that. But, if you want that authentic look, sometimes you gotta pay the price. So, oh man. You guys are probably sitting there cracking up, laughing at me. But man, I, I could not be happier. This thing is absolutely awesome i know when i get home i'm gonna give it a good cleaning and go ahead and check the internal parts of it as far as like the bolt and everything but i mean check i'll probably back watch my video to make sure that the extraction's good and all that so i'm gonna leave the one mag on the table and we'll try and do like a little speedy reload for you guys all right. Oh, that's what happens when you want to play around. Things don't work. Alright, nice. Got one round left. Might as well pop it in. That's what she said. Man. This thing's dirty. Getting covered. But I just can't stop shooting this thing. It's absolutely awesome. Alright, so here we go. We got this Federal Black Box picked up at my local sporting store. They were very kind and let me pay the full amount on it. It was awesome. Definitely a cool experience. I greatly appreciate their help. Hopefully I could get the ammo out so we can shoot. I'll probably... Alright... Man, I'd absolutely love to get a suppressor for this thing. I could only imagine how nice shooting suppressed this thing is. So, man, I really hope you guys are going to enjoy this video. So, I'll give you guys kind of a quick look at it as soon as we... I'm going to put two mags of this and then we'll do two mags of the 
brass or, or whatever you call it. I always want to say braziers, but that's like a porno company. So, I don't know if it's called that. Who knows, maybe it is. But it'd be weird if it was an ammo company and a porn company. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. We've all seen it. We all know that company. So, but yeah, no, I'm hoping... Seems like it's running just fine. I mean, after we had those little hiccups, it does say in the manual that there's a break-in period and everything. But then again, I am supposed to kind of be cleaning the gun every... I think it was every 10 rounds they wanted you to clean it out, which is like a little nuts. I don't... If it's gonna run, it's gonna run. I don't see why you'd have to sit there and clean it out i did this morning i took it apart and went ahead and wiped everything down ran the patch through like the board just to make sure that's usually my typical thing i like to at least make sure if if there's for any reason anything on the inside of it which again there really shouldn't be but just to make sure that it's not in there anymore so um, we got that all taken care of and other than that just sprayed a little rem oil inside and so far she's been running awesome all right thank god my feet are freezing fucking cold standing on this cement. But I just want to keep shooting this thing. Alright, we got the two full mags of the Brasser, or Brasser, Brasser. So, let's load her on up. Good to go. I can't not do that. I can't not do that. Nice. We'll go ahead. Yeah, scoot this black box to the side. Man, I'm gonna have a fun mess to clean up at the end of the day. All right, so this is not labeled, but it's Brasser. I just dumped the like 550 bin into here because it was getting low, and I actually chose to use the nice container after washed out as a storage spot for miscellaneous goods man my hands are getting so dirty so dirty kinky oh man you guys are seeing my a whole different side of me today oh man we actually have there might be some Fiocchi in here. Like I said, I know I have Fiocchi. I'm going to try and not grab that, and I'll sort it out. And maybe we'll... I, I know there's probably not a whole mag, but we'll try and run some of that through as well. I'll pick out all the Fiocchi, and we'll give it a try. Because that'd be kind of cool. That's like six different ammos I tried in this. I think the Fiocchi... It's either 124 or 115. I bought like two cases. I, th I think it's actually 124. I think it's the rest of what my wife had left. So I do apologize if this is a 
long video. That's why I'm kind of trying to make it as entertaining as possible for you guys. I know before we shoot these next mags, I'll give you guys a quick look at the MP, the PTR 9 CT. So if you guys kind of want to take a look at it, I'm going to go ahead and pick out all these PO keys because. Like I said, I think I only have, like, maybe six rounds. Yeah, I think that's it. So, oh, there's one more. Try and get them all picked out, and I'll put them on the top of this mag. Just kind, kind of so. I know it's not a full mag, but at least it's a few rounds of the Fioki. Just getting there. Yep, and I, I. Oh, nice. Another Fioki. I think we have about six. We have eight rounds of Fioki. So. Got a little bit. Got a little bit. You know. We'll give it a try. We'll see what it's about. Alright. Man, I'm so. Alright. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. All right, I'm gonna load these Fiokis in here and we'll leave it at that. So, man, if you guys can get one of these, definitely get yourself an MP5 or a clone. It's definitely the best little pistol carbine or however you want to call it that I've had experience with. So. Alright, make sure she's on safe. Give you guys kind of a quick little view. Now that she's out in the sun, I'm gonna flip it upside down so I don't have to muzzle myself or anyone else. I don't want to get bitched at. So, alright. Eight rounds of Fioki. The rest, brasser, 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 brasser. This one's for the brassiers, guys. You know who you are. Oh, man. Alright. It's in there, so. Alright. I don't know why that keeps happening. It's weird. It will fully chamber the round, but then it won't, like... I pull the trigger, it doesn't fire, and then... Go to pull back the charging handle and it's still in the chamber unfired cock it pull the trigger and it fires so i'm not sure what's going on there maybe it's just the full mags it not being able to fully chamber the round or something but like i said this one's for the braziers girls you know who you are So, I hope you guys enjoyed this first look at the PTR-9CT. I know I definitely did. So far, no issues. Like I said, I'm going to go home. I'll clean her up, and we'll check out the internals and everything. But, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I apologize about it being a little bit longer but we did try out six different types of ammo and overall i'd say that they 
pretty much ran flawlessly. I don't know if it's a magazine issue or it just breaking in, but I mean, overall, I imagine that the gun will smooth out. So, hey, happy holidays, you guys, and thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.